Audacity has released a new version 3.4.0. If you are into voice editing for Audacity, nothing much has changed for you. However, if you are a musician, you would be excited about the new features. All the changes to the new version are listed on this Audacity support website. You can watch the video from Audacity if you are into music. In that video Audacity team explain changes for music editing. Those changes have no effect on how we use voice editing in Audacity. Audacity introduced a new feature of time stretching from the timeline. Let me show you what it does. I will create a clip using Command I in Mac and Control I on Windows. I will drag these clips to make room for the middle clip. I can now drag from the edge of the clip to expand or shrink. It is the default behavior. If I press the Alt key on the keyboard and drag, then the clip will stretch. It is time stretching, or in other words, I am changing the speed of the clip. When I time stretch, it will have the same audio inside the clip. It will become slower or faster. I think this time stretch feature is suited more for music editing than voice editing. Another major change is how we are going to export audio files. It has a completely new layout for exporting audio files. It is now compact and convenient as we do all the things in one place. You can also edit metadata from here if you want. It is not a big change in functionality but the look and feel are different. Other changes are internal functionality or very small changes or bug fixes. These will not affect our editing workflow in Audacity. However, there is a change in the merging feature of clips. Clicking on the border of two clips will no longer merges them. Let's see what it is actually. In the previous versions, you could join clips by clicking on the border. These are two clips, and I will try to join them. If I click on the bold black vertical line, nothing happens. To join these two clips, you have to select the line and join from the edit menu. Now the clips are joined. These are the notable changes in the new version. If you are using Audacity for voice editing, your experience with it will not change. If you are into professional voice editing, I want to show you a thing quickly. You can turn your raw recording into professional quality in a single click. The waveform you see on the screen is a raw recording. I will make a duplicate and compare between the original and the improved. I will improve the top track. Select everything inside the track and go to Tools. From Apply Macro, you can choose the type of improvement you want. I have several types of improvement like Clear Vocal, ESS Reduction, Intelligent Improve, Interview Improve, Podcast Improve etc. All these improvements can improve audio quality in a single click. I will show you in a moment where you can get these. I will apply the Clear Vocal Improve on this recording. The audio has become improved instantly. Let's listen to the original and improved audio to understand the difference. I will play the original first and then the improvement. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface among the audio editing software. Even if you are a beginner, you can start using Audacity with a very small learning curve. You have to learn the basics of audio editing and you are good to go. To clean up audio recordings using Audacity, you have to know some basics about the audio data. Though Audacity is 100% free, it is powerful enough to do professional quality work. Many full-time voice artists and audiobook narrators so you see what a massive improvement I got just in a click. Installation of these macros is very easy. From the tools menu, go to Macro Manager. You have to import the macros. Click on Import. You will get a zip file from me and unzip that file, and you will get the macros and EQs folder. To import the macros, select the macros folder. If you want to use the professional EQ separately, you will also get those in the EQs folder. Inside the macros folder, you will get some TXT files. From the file name, you would know which macro it is. Each TXT file is a separate macro. You have to select a macro and open. You have to import the macros one by one as Audacity does not support bulk import of macros. The macros you have imported will be listed on the left side and are ready to use. So where do you get these macros? You can get these macros in this Buy Me A Coffee page. I have developed 11 macros with professional EQs with my years of audio editing experience. I have a detailed installation guide in the description. If you want to use these professional EQ separately, you will find instructions on that. These macros come with after-sales service, so if you have any difficulty in using or installing these macros, you can email me. If you are looking for an efficient way to produce high-quality voice, these macros are the solution.